Hey everyone, and welcome back now to our second week together here. Uh, so just to really make sure everybody's on the same page, you can please read this again, the syllabus, go through it carefully. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns or issues. Happy to deal with that right away to save uh, you know problems later on, if, if, if there is any. Uh, but this week we're going to move into um, our second module, which will be in action for two weeks. So it's a second module, but for this week two and next week, week three, we'll be focusing on Google Apps for Education, or often now called G Suite. And uh, that's going to be really great, great for us. And uh, it's important because some of you may have ever had experience using Google Docs. Some of you might have not had experience Google Docs or Google Drive. Depends on where you went to school. Depends on your experience now in college and so forth. So uh, in order to make this really, you know, a good experience, I hope you, hope you can go through that. So what I have here is a uh, playlist of a bunch of videos that I created uh, for the for the college. And um, I go through this a playlist. You know, how to access Google Drive, how to upload files to Google Drive, how to organize your folders and everything, connecting apps, things like File Stream, which is a great way to access your Google Drive on a Windows machine or a Mac. Um, so again, all these things you can kind of get into. Um, you know, again, go go through that. I'm going to ask you to also then make sure you can access your own Google account, or if you haven't done so already, create one. But you can use your my.kanishas as a Google account. Uh, so make sure you uh, check that out. Open up this Google Doc, and I'm going to ask you to add your name to it and your email address, uh, just so we can have this ready to go for everybody, so we can share uh, files with each other in a nice, seamless fashion. So we're going to practice sharing um, through links and also through directly through email share. So that's an important skill to have for the teacher working with your colleagues. Um, it's also an important skill to teach students when they're working on group projects in class. So that's a, it's a really important aspect. Or if you even teach in the younger grades, maybe you're elementary, you know, sharing aspects with parents. Um, again, so all this can relate, no matter what you're doing, what your goals are, uh, keep that in mind. So we're really trying to learn all these great, great uh, techniques and um, tools, okay? Then I'm going to watch the Getting to Know Docs uh, video playlist. Okay, same thing here, how to make a doc, create a doc. I made all these videos, um, so those are hopefully good for you. And this one's a kind of a little supplemental uh, video that I made a while ago where I kind of show you in live time how a Google Doc will look when you have multiple people working on it at the same time. Um, and that's great, because I do this a lot with my students. We work on a lot of team projects, debate projects, and teams and groups are working within the same Google Doc. And it gives me a great assessment tool as a teacher that I can go through this. I can see who contributed what to each Google Doc um, using the revision history. I can use it as a great form of assessment um, in many, many different ways. So uh, again, this is really, really useful stuff for you. So please take a look at that. That'd be wonderful. Now, a little bit of a change this week. So we used Flipgrid last week to get to know each other. Uh, in the class in terms of you know, introducing ourselves and so forth. But now we're going to use it also as a discussion tool. Okay, So I'm going to have you post your initial discussion, the more thorough text one, like the multiple paragraphs, APA cited, fully developed, to the Schoology discussion. Okay, Text of it. But we're going to use Flipgrid where you can kind of talk off the cuff a little bit. You can be a little more... Um, Less, less formal, I guess, and you can kind of go into that in a great way where you can just sort of talk and you can kind of share your experience with us um, about this in a nice video sort of post. So here's the prompt for the week. You, know, you thought about Google After Education, Google Drive and Docs, how have you used this in the past, how you use it with, with your students eventually. That would be great. So just like before, um, go to the Flipgrid, go to the uh, link or hit, click the QR code, uh, scan it, and then you can make your video. But again, the text of your video, your text of your post goes to the discussion. That's due by Wednesday, back on the Wednesday schedule. Then by the following Sunday, I'm going to have you create a Google Drive folder, share with at least two people in the course, and use the um, list of names above. Okay. Post a link to that folder. So we're learning how to do two things: how to share a folder via um, emails, and also how to share a folder via um, link sharing. Now it's important here that we learn to click on anyone with the link can access the folder. And I go through this, all of this in my in those videos that I just showed you on the on the playlist. Not just people like can just everyone. So everyone with the link can access the folder, and that's going to be important technique to learn the differences of a link sharing. Then I want you to create a Google Doc that you would use with your own students. Same kind of idea, same kind of concept. Um, and then share the doc with at least two people via an email invite and also post a link to that one. Anyone can edit the document. So we're practicing the different sharing levels, uh, which I think is important. 
Um, if you can also then post a link to those shared folders uh, in the deliverable drop as well to your Google Doc and to your shared folder. So I'm asking you to post those links uh, in the discussion and I'm also asking you to post those two links in the deliverable drop. The reason why, so I want to grade those individually. The reason why I want you to post them in the discussion is so everybody else can access them as well. And then continue to reply to others to his initial posts on Flipgrid, at least two or more in the course. So here, let's go back to the actual um, module here. So there's the action sheet. This is where you would post the text of your discussion, right? You go through all that, the text of your discussion, I have it all here for you, okay? That's important, all right? fully APA cited and so forth. Here's this playlist as well to Docs and Drive and a supplemental video. This is just a um, Google Doc that I've used uh, overall sort of Google Apps for Education. Keep it as a resource. But this is a good little article, 10 ways to use this in your classroom and also 10 ways to use uh, um, Google Drive and Google Docs. So check those out. Those will be nice to use in your discussion posts. But then also post a link, right, remember, to your shared folder and your shared Google Doc in the discussion and then also place those links here in the deliverable drop so I can grade them. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to everybody. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm looking forward to seeing all your great work. All right, take care. Bye-bye.